Hey guys, it's Oz Creates, and I'm here with Diggerville Fishing, and we are going to be raiding all the new Home Depot stuff. Alright, so the Home Depot lineup just dropped a few days ago, and by the time you guys are probably watching this video, it's been a few more days. And I just think overall it is super amazing. There's some very good props, and I'm sorry if there's an echo in this room. Um, but I think there's some great stuff and some great items that came back, and some great ones that are new. What are your thoughts on it? I think they're really cool. Now we are going to get into it. We are going to be starting with the, for $400, the five foot animated LED hearse. Now my thoughts on this hearse, is super cool. It just came back, I think it's a bit pricey, but it is a bit worth it because it sold out, I think in like 10 minutes on the website. And I know a few people that have it. I just think it's super cool. It's got the, it's got the movement of the jaw for the riding skeleton. And then the lot of lights, lights shining down on the corpse inside it and uh, two lanterns on the side of the skeleton. I think it's cool. For the price of 400 though, I feel like it should include the hearse. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10, just because it doesn't include the horse. What are your thoughts on it? I'd probably give it a 7.5, just because of the price. I feel like it's not worth it as much as it would be if it included the hearse. Now moving on, we are going to be looking at the six foot animated LED marionette witch for the price of $99. Now Home Depot has some very good prices this year. As you can see, this is only $99. I think this is a ripoff kind of of Bobby Strings from Spirit Halloween, which is another marionette puppet who's coming out. But for people that like witches and maybe they'll redo the body to make it a puppet, the price of $99 is very good, as the one from Spirit is $309, which is crazy price. If I had to give it a rating, and this is from me, some other people would give it a 10 out of 10, but I would give him a 5 out of 10. I just don't think it's that cool. What are your thoughts on it? I think I'd bump that up to a 7. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a, it's, it's for 6 feet, for, for $99, I think it's worth it. Yeah, um, I would just give it a five, like I said, because I think it's a ripoff, and I think that they could have gave it a bit more movement. It does have movement, though, in the arms and legs, and, I th yes, and the mouth moves with five phrases. So, for a starter prop, I would definitely recommend this one for you guys. All right, so the next prop we're going to be talking about is the three and a half foot animated Chucky doll for the price of $199. Now this animatronic, in my opinion, is amazing. It is licensed, so I'm not gonna be picking it up, but I think it's just great. I think it shows the Chucky character from the movie in a great way, and it sold out within like four minutes of it coming live uh, around a day or two ago, which is just insane. I think that the mouth movement with the blinking of the eye and the rotating of the body and the head movement is just very cool, and I think that they did a great job on the clothes and the face and the hair. I think if I had to rate this guy out of 10, I would give him a 10 out of 10 for someone that loves Chucky. I think that he is just great, and the movements on him are amazing. What are your thoughts on this guy? I'm also going to give him a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really, as you said, it's a really, really nice animatronic for 200 bucks, which isn't that bad for a really nice animatronic. Yeah, um, definitely pick this guy up if you can find him in stores. Even if you're not a fan of Chucky, I think you could maybe redo him. You could like take the clothes off and put some baby clothes on him or something. You could just make a really creepy doll or something out of him. So if you guys have the option to pick this guy up, I would definitely recommend doing it, especially if you, if you have a Home Depot card because then you can get some money off of him. All right, the next one, which you can see up here in the corner, is the five and a half foot animated LED Fear Valley Wolf for a price of $200 just like Chucky. I absolutely love this guy. I think that we have never seen movement like this before with the lip lifting up and the mouth opening and closing and then the ears and the tail. 
And from the images and from other people I've seen that have unboxed him, the fur looks very seamless. It doesn't look like it's an animatronic or a robot. It looks real. And I think that's just amazing. And they did a great job with the burnish patches. They don't look like it's not too much, but it's not too little that it's not noticeable. I think he's amazing. And if you can pick him up, like I was saying with Chucky, I would definitely do that if you can. Um, if I had to rate him, I think I'd give him a 9.5 out of 10. I kind of wish that his head moved back and forth, kind of like the animated reindeer from two years ago. But definitely pick this guy up if you guys can. What are your thoughts on him? If I had rated him, I'd probably rate him around a 9.8. Uh, I think he looks really, really realistic to a real wolf. And the patches on the side of his body and his ankle really look realistic. And for a price of 200 I'd definitely try to pick him up. Yeah, like um, like I was looking at all the other stuff, prices for Home Depot are really good this year. Uh, I would definitely pick up some stuff from Home Depot if you guys can, because they have really good prices this year. The next one we're going to be looking at is the 7-foot animated LED Plague Doctor for a price of $200. Now, I absolutely love this guy. Right away, 10 out of 10. Uh, there's great movements, very lifelike movements of the swinging of the cane and the lifting of the lantern. And then I also believe that his head moves back and forth. But I love the trim of the collar and mask, just that bright green glowing effect and the goggles that change colors. I went ahead and picked this guy up, which you'll see in another video. And uh, we'll be doing an unboxing on him pretty soon. And uh, definitely get this guy if you guys can. I think that he'll be great behind a lab table or just singular standing alone a prop because he's just very creepy, especially if you get up close to him and with him swinging that cane at you. I think it's going to get a good scare on some people. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. All right, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the seven foot animated LED. Victorian vampire for the price of $200. My opinion on this guy, I think he's a good prop, but at the same time, I don't really have a good theme for him. If you guys love vampires and love that creepy old vibe, and I think he could be great on a night of Halloween or something in your front yard or on your front porch, definitely pick him up. He's got a pretty good price with the movements he has. He has six phrases. And he's seven feet tall with the head movement, the torso movement, and the mouth movement. I'll give him a seven out of 10, but I think that he is worth his price. I mean, it could be a bit lower, but I know some people will love this guy, especially because he's seven feet tall and has a very good height. Yeah, uh, I'll probably rate him around a four. I mean, he, he, he looks pretty good for, for $200, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick him up. All right, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the eight and a half foot giant sized animated LED Carnival Carl for the price of $200, just like Victorian Vampire. I love this guy. I think he's a great addition to a circus, and I think you can put him next to one of those things you'll see in the carnivals where it's like test your strength and you have to hit that thing to send the little thing up to hit the bell. I think that he's just super cre creepy, and with his five different phrases, I think he'd be a great addition to any carnival theme. Um, I wish his clothes had a bit maybe more blood on it, or just was a, I feel like it's a bit generic, so I'm going to give him probably an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10, just because I think the clothes could be a bit better, but other than that, the head looks very creepy, I love the hat that he has, and the hammer looks very good. Yeah, I'd probably give him an 8.8 as well. I mean, I love, I, for $200, I would definitely pick him up. I would not pick up the vampire. I would definitely pick up him for $200. Yeah, the vampire is about a foot and a half smaller, and this guy has an extra movement. Again, I'm not hating on the vampire, but I'm just not a huge fan of him. Definitely pick up Carnival Carl, though, if you can find him. He will be a great addition to you guys' circuses. All right, the next thing we're going to be talking about is the seven and a half foot animated LED Trickster Trio stack for the price of, again, $200. Now, my thoughts on this guy is um, 
it's okay. Um, it doesn't have a lot of movements, just some body movements, and I'm pretty sure the mouths and the hammer move. I'm gonna give this guy a 4.5 out of 10. I know that sounds low, and I know some of you guys love him. I just think he looks very generic. The clothes, especially on the top one, is just stripes, and the bottom one's just two colors, and the middle one's purple, and I feel like their faces just don't look that creepy. I know I'm not hating on him a ton. I would definitely pick him up if you want to get him, but I'd rather get Carnival Carl, the big one with the hammer, instead of these guys. Yeah, I will probably get more. Probably like a five. I mean, for two hundred dollars, I'm probably gonna pick kind of a car over him. I guess I, I just don't think he's worth it. He doesn't have many movements, and I, I don't think he's worth it. All right, guys. Next up is the seven foot animated LED Captain Cuts for the price of two hundred fifty dollars. This guy, right away, I'm going to tell you guys, he gets out of 10 out of 10. He sold out within two days, and I think they had, they sold over 500 of them. I picked him up. I was one of the ones I picked up. This guy has, I think, six movements. His head moves, his eye moves, and blinks, and his body moves, both arms move, and the head fully, like, rotates like this. This guy gets a 10 out of 10 on my list. I think he's a great addition to any pirate theme. And with the stuff Lois has come out with, with pirates, I think a lot of people could build a really cool like pirate ship, especially if you got the Home Depot pirate ship from a few years ago. So definitely recommend this guy if you can pick him up. I think he's gonna be one like Lethal Lily that's gonna sell out quick. Yeah, 10 out of 10 in my book, Tony. Just has so many movements and for $250, it's a good price. All right, guys, next up is the eight and a half foot giant sized animated LED Night Doula Ann for the price of $379. I think this guy's really cool. Only thing with me is the price. I think he's a bit expensive. And I also kind of wish, I know, I'm pretty positive that it's, let me check. Yeah, uh, his arm moves. His, uh, and the jaw moves and the horse head moves. I love all that. I also wish the body from side to side. I think that would be cool just so it could like get a wide range of audience more than just the arm moving. But I will give him a nine and a half or a nine out of 10 just because he would be one that I would pick up if he was just a bit cheaper. Yeah, I would give him probably a nine as well. He's a little pricey, but I mean for 8.5 feet, that's a, that's a big, pretty big animatronic. Well. Next up on the list is the seven foot animated LED Frankenstein's monster for the price of $280. Now right off the bat, I think this guy could have had a better paint job and a better clothes working on. Uh, very cool though, if it was a bit more detailed, which I know you could do on your own once you get him, I would buy him, but I just feel like that with Captain Cuts for only $250, you're getting some more movements, and even though, and they're even the same height too, so I would go with Captain Cuts over this guy. I'll give him a 6.5 out of 10. I think he's a bit pricey, but I think he's still really cool overall if you definitely are gonna give him like a makeover once you get him. Yeah, I'll give him a 6.5 as well. He's a little pricey, he doesn't have many movements. I'd definitely pick Captain Cuts over this one. Next up is the 12 foot giant sized animated LED levitating reaper for the price of $300. Now right away, I'm gonna just tell you guys again, he gets a 10 out of 10 on my list. I think he is absolutely amazing. And he might be one that I picked up. You'll have to watch that video to see if I did pick him up. He has two movements, his head fully rotates around and his jaw moves and he speaks six different phrases and also has his hands and chest that light up with seven different colors. I think this guy is amazing for the price. He does at night give the illusion that he is floating in the air. And I think he just, with the sight, looks very creepy. And normally I feel like this could be a prop for $350 because as you guys know, the 12 foot skeleton is $300 and he does no movements at all. So if you guys can get this guy in store, or ship it to the store with free shipping, definitely get this guy. I think he is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I couldn't say better. Uh, 10 out of 10 easily if you can pick him up. Definitely do. Yeah. 
Next up is the six and a half foot animated LED jack of spades for the price of $150. In my books, this guy is very cool. I think he could be a good theme for maybe like a bar theme or even just at your house on the front porch. He speaks five pr phrases and has three movements of the head, jaw, and his right arm with the cigarette. And the cigarette also lights up. Yeah, on my end, he's getting a 10 out of 10. I think he's my favorite so far. I mean, he's, there's so many like, different, unique movements, and for $150, he does so easy. It's definitely super worth it. I mean, friend in my books, I don't know about the you know, other people, but 6.5 feet, jack of spades, at three movements, head, jaw, and right arm. That's definitely worth it for $150. And if you, if you as I said, you can make it up with a lot of different themes and maybe even do makeovers when you when you get them. I definitely pick them up if you can. He can also be displayed as sitting or standing. He comes with a separate base, so you could have him sitting at a chair or something at like a card playing table. I'm gonna give him an eight out of ten because I'm probably not gonna pick him up, but I know that this will be a great one for a lot of other people to pick up. All right, we're now going to talk about the four and a half foot LED Zero for the price of $100. I'm not a huge fan of this guy. Again, I'm not a big fan of licensed stuff. I'm gonna give him a three out of 10. I wish they'd given him some sort of movement because I know he goes with the big Jack Skellington, the 13 foot one for $400, which I also think is kind of overpriced. But I wish that his head might have moved back and forth. That might have bumped it up to me for like a seven out of 10 or a six out of 10. With no movement though, I feel like he should be, well he's big, but I'd maybe say he should be like $75. But I know with a license and stuff, he's probably worth the $99, but I'm gonna give him a three out of 10. Yeah, I think it's gonna be my least favorite so far, two out of 10 for me. I mean, he just really doesn't do much. I mean, I know it'll go well with the other big skeleton, but I mean, it's definitely not worth it for like a combo of like $450. It's definitely not worth it. All right, now we're going to be talking about the 12 and a half foot giant size Inferno Deadwood Skeleton for the price of $380. And there are still some left, so definitely go get it if you can right now. Um, my thoughts on this guy are he's really cool. I can't use him because I do my haunts on a trail, a very big wooded area, so I feel like he blends in a bit too much. But in a neighborhood or something, I think he's really cool. Especially how like the top of his head looks like a tree stump and it lights up. I'm gonna give him an eight and a half out of ten. What about you? So yeah, I think you blend in a lot, but I like the looks. I think I th I'll give him a nine. The one, the half of that one is it's overpriced, and the other half is we can't use it because it is still blended. But if you have like a front yard with no trees or like a neighborhood road, like he said. This would fit in perfect and you should go grab it right now. Next we're going to be talking about the 12 foot giant size animated LED hovering witch for the price of $300. Now I think that this one is super cool. I would still go with the Reaper. I think he's just a bit more intimidating. I would consider this one just a bit more kid friendly, but I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 because I don't really have a theme for her. Um, she was around about two or three years ago, I believe, but now she has come back with black clothes, maybe to just make her a bit more spooky, but I'm also worried now that she's going to blend in a bit more in the darkness unless you put some spotlights on her. So I'll give her a 7 out of 10, and if you guys want some, there's still some available, so definitely go buy them online now, or they should be in your stores. Yeah, I'm going to give her probably an 8 out of 10. I mean, I'm not a huge fan. For $300, it's not worth it, but there are still some, and go get it if you can. But 12 feet, I'm not a really big fan of, and with black clothes on, it's going to blend in with the trees and the darkness, and you'd have to put more spotlights on, which costs more money, so I don't think it's worth it. Next up is the 7-foot Skelly's Dog for the price of $200, limited with one per order. This guy's actually sold out right now. He sold out pretty quickly. He was available. At I think back in March or April when Home Depot did their first little drop. And I think he sold out really fast there. I'm gonna give this guy a six out of 10. He's more kid friendly. I think he'd be great in some neighborhoods, front yards, but he's more for the 
like home collector side or the people that just decorate for Halloween. He's not really for like a haunted house or anything like that. And he has no movements. I think he should be around $150. All he does is his eyes light up. So I'm gonna give him a six out of 10. But if you guys can get him and you love him, because I know some people love him and I think he would be great in a front yard of someone's house that has trigger treaters, definitely go pick him up if you guys can. Yeah, um, I'm not a big fan. I mean, for two hundred dollars, probably it's more than ten. Two hundred dollars overpriced. But I mean, as you said, if you're gonna put it in your front yard, definitely do. I mean, that's that's worth it. But if you're making like a trail or something, then I don't think it's worth it for two hundred dollars. All right. Next, we're gonna be talking about the twelve foot servo skelly. So this one has head movement. Looks just like the regular skelly, but has the movement of the head back and forth with the price of $380, limited also to one per order. I think that this guy is okay. I think he is a bit overpriced. The only difference with him that a regular 12 foot skeleton, which is 300 on the dot, is the head moves back and forth. I think he should be around 330, 340 at max probably. So I'm gonna give him a six out of 10. I love him, but he is overpriced in my book. Yeah, I agree. A lot, way of a price just for he, he is one that doesn't move his head, but for head movement, I think it's way overpriced. I mean, it should be 340 max, 350, 350 at, at literally at max max, but it's definitely not worth it. Last but not least, we're going to be talking about the 9 foot giant sized LED murderous maple for the price of $250, limited to one per order. I think this guy is cool and would be cool again in a front yard or something, kind of like what I said with the Skelly's dog, but he doesn't really work well for me. He'll blend in a lot unless you kind of put him really close up to where people are walking. I'm gonna give him a six or a seven out of 10. I think he's cool, but I also think he should be around $200 because all he does is he lights up, no movements. But the sculpt looks great. He looks like a real tree. So I think this could be good in some people's yards, especially with the leaves and stuff hanging down, which I hope that is included with him. But I would pick this guy up if you guys can get him, especially if you have, again, a Home Depot credit card, you can get some money off of him. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this one, 9.5. Uh, for him, it wouldn't work, but for people in his front yard, I would definitely pick him up. I like the color changes in his eyes and mouth, and with the Spanish moss, Spanish moss hanging off of his branches, I would definitely pick him up. They look super realistic to me, and for $250, it's a little bit overpriced, but I mean, it's definitely worth it if, it's, if you're going to be in like, a neighborhood road or not in the woods or something like that. It's definitely worth it. Go pick him up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out Daniel Fishing. His uh, link will be in the description and it will be in the title of the video. Go check him out. Definitely give him a subscribe. He's got some amazing content coming soon to you guys. And he's a huge help to me with the trail that I run and stuff. He's also one of my actors. My favorite one out of the whole Home Depot line was the 12 foot levitating reaper. If I got him, you guys are gonna see a video soon on that. What was your favorite? Uh, I really liked the uh, Jack of Spades. Uh, he he really would probably bring a lot of eyes to your front porch or front yard when someone's walking down the street trick or treating. It's gonna bring so many eyes to your front yard and a lot of attention. I really like it. You should go pick him up. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely go check out Dinger Real Fishing. Give him a subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.